Yo, what's going on everyone? Hope you're all okay and welcome to another video on the channel where today we're going to be speaking about Black Ops Cold War and my first thoughts on it. The game's been out about a week now, so let's get into it. We're going to go through the positives and negatives and my overall opinion. So in general, I think the game's okay, but that's it. It's just okay and we'll get into that more throughout the video. Remember to stay at the end for the full conclusion. So first up, we've got maps. I think maps in Cold War are generally better than Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare didn't have great maps, and it didn't have enough decent maps to like outweigh the bad maps. But I think Cold War is very balanced. There's one or two maps that you think, oh, I, could, I don't want to play this. Particularly Cartel and Miami for me. But saying that, I don't think Miami's as bad as people make out. But you've also got really, really good maps like Checkmate, the military base, and Moscow. I think they outweigh each other and like average it out, whereas Modern Warfare didn't. So overall, I think the maps are generally better. So another pro is zombies. I mean, I haven't played a lot of zombies this year. I was I was waiting to play some more with friends because it's a bit boring on my own. But I've heard and I've watched and I've played. I think zombies is really, really good. I think they've outdone themselves. It's better than the rest of the game, I think. I mean, don't get wrong, the campaign is great, but I just think Zombies is the best game mode. I mean, your, your weapon levels carry on, your prestige and stuff carries on. I just overall think it's a good experience, and perhaps one of the best Zombies experiences I've done. In my opinion, it comes, it probably comes up with Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3. So, last up in the positives, we've got weapons. I think the weapons aren't bad. It's not really positive, it's just an okay thing, but it doesn't go in negatives at any of the some of the, the positives, to be honest. But I don't think the weapons are that bad, but I think Modern Warfare's weapons are better. Don't get us wrong, I know the time to kill is longer, but they just feel better. And the balancing, they're quite balanced, I think. Um, on paper, they're all very similar, and they act very similar in-game. Which is, which is a very, very good thing. I mean, apart from the MP5, but now that that's been nerfed, I mean, it's not an excuse anymore. So with positives, we've got better maps, weapons, and zombies. So now we're moving on to negatives. There's a lot more negatives than there is positives, but the negatives I don't think are particularly bad, but let's get into it. So, score streaks. I mean, some people prefer score streaks, I don't. I prefer kill streaks personally. I think the score streaks, especially keeping them when you die, really rewards worse players, and it's it's not very good for the better players that are playing the game because they're getting killed more. It's gonna tank the KD, and if you care about that, is that is. But um, I just don't like them. They're, they're just too rewarding for worse players at the game. Now I know I put maps in the positive, but some of the maps are so bad. I mean, Miami and Cartel. I mean, I don't mind Miami, but I really don't like Cartel. But I know a lot of people hate Miami because it's dark, it's hard to see, it's big. But I think it's just not great, some of the maps that they've laid out. And I, I really don't like it. The bushes in Cartel are really annoying me because people just crawl in them, especially in Hardpoint and Domination. It's just really annoying. So next up, we've got the MP5 and just submachine guns in general. I mean, I know the CDL pros wanted submachine guns to be better so they could use them in the CDL, but <clears throat> I think the MP5 is too strong. I mean, I know it got nerfed, but even then, it still feels strong. And you just can't get away from it. It's what you get killed by. And the fact they unlock it so early in the game as well is, is really off-putting for a lot of players. So next up, we've got the movement and the graphics and just the engine in general. I mean, it feels like... They've took so many steps back from Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare was such an advance in the movement and the graphics. But this game, I don't, I don't know whether it's meant to be like on purpose, but it just feels clunky. It feels like it's took steps back and like reversed the progress that Modern Warfare has done. I think that they should have built on the Modern Warfare engine rather than use a different one altogether. They should, they should look at it and try and make it better with the times, but they didn't, and it just wasn't. It just hasn't worked, in my opinion. And last up, but definitely not least, is skill-based matchmaking. I mean, that's the big thing about this game. The skill-based matchmaking is so strong. I mean, don't get us wrong. I think it should be there. But in this game, it's way too strong. I mean, you know something's wrong when the pros are complaining about it and they have like a 2KD, which is not what you'd expect from a Call of Duty pro. Um, it's just... It rewards worse players again, and that's what this game seems to be doing. I know it's better to cling on to an audience of a younger age that haven't played Call of Duty as much, but it just doesn't feel right. You could go like 26 to 10 one game and I have, and then the next game I'll get put in a in a game with pros and go like zero to 40. I mean, it's not great, and 
this, the pros as well getting silenced for it. I think Call of Duty really need to do something about it. It is way too strong and it just takes the enjoyment out of the game. I think they should add a split playlist, one for casual where the skill based matchmaking is light and a normal playlist where the skill based matchmaking is as it is maybe a little bit weaker so you can play the game casually or you can play the game and really sweat it out. So for negatives we've got score streaks, certain maps, the MP5, the engine and skill based matchmaking. So overall in conclusion I think the game isn't bad, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. But that's mainly because of zombies in the campaign really bringing it up. I'm, I'm enjoying it, don't get us wrong, I'm playing it. But it just doesn't feel the same, to be honest. It doesn't feel the same trying to grind it out. And that's just really off point for me. So if you did like this video, remember to like and comment what you'd like to see. Subscribe if you aren't already, because I'm trying to post more videos on here. And if you're not following those on other platforms, the links for my other platforms are in the description. It will it will be... TikTok, the Discord server, go and join that. Um, Instagram, you know, everything's in there. Remember to click on that link, go and follow us everywhere. And I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.